National University of Malaysia. And with my colleagues, we will uh, present this presentation titled Stigma and Coping Experiences Among Marginalized Students, Preliminary Findings from Malaysia. If you are interested uh, in this uh, presentation, you could uh, scan this QR code and get the slides. Uh, I will skip this uh, introduction because very limited time, 15 minutes. Uh, but yeah, this one. So indigenous and ethnic minority group, they are uh, counted as a marginalized group, including students uh, vulnerable to stress and other mental health issues. And also it could lead uh, to internalized stigma. So it's important uh, for them to have a coping strategy. And then our objective, uh, this presentation or this study is part of a bigger uh, study, cross-nation uh, cross uh, study. So it is conducted in three Southeast Asian countries, in the Philippines, Indonesia, and Malaysia. We want to explore the experience of stigma uh, across various marginalized student groups, and also investigate how these students cope with the, the experience stigma. And this presentation only covered the ongoing findings from Malaysia. So we'll talk about Malaysia a little bit. Uh, there are three, 13 states and three territories uh, in West and East Malaysia. So the estimated population in 2020, uh, roughly 13 million uh, citizens. And it's uh, divided or yeah, roughly divided into, commonly divided into three big ethnicity groups, Bumi Putra or Malay, uh, roughly 70%, and the rest are Chinese, 22 uh, or 23%, Indians, nearly 7%, and others, 1%. And about the sex ratio, quite uh, proportional between male and females. And higher education uh, in, in Malaysia, it has 20 public universities located in several states. You can see in, in the table. And private university, uh, it has like a 79 private university. And foreign branch university, 10, uh, 10 university, like uh, including Monash University of Malaysia. The interesting thing about higher education in Malaysia is ethnic or race-based quota system. So Pre University, it has like a, a quota system of 90% should be uh, from or filled by Malay students uh, and the rest or 10% uh, could be given to non-Malay students. So this quota system for Pre University was set in 23. But long before that, the quota system for only public universities, so these 20 universities, uh, was set in 69, uh, 1969. So at least 55% uh, should be filled by Malay students. The rest could be non malays uh, up to 35% usually are Chinese uh, students. So our study, we are doing uh, qualitative uh, with purposive and snowball sampling with this inclusive criteria age 18 to 30 years old because uh, 30 years old students might older than that they might have different coping strategies that could be could not be applied for younger students than 30 and they have to be from a marginalized or indigenous group from orang asli or indigenous or the peninsula uh, the West Malaysia, and then Sarawak and Sabah native, or orang asal in uh, Sabah and Sarawak is Malaysia, and also Chinese or Indian uh, background students. And they have to be active as a student uh, only in public university and at least one year uh, experience uh, student as a student. And we have been interviewing uh, these students since April, and then uh, for the, the, the hall or or at the end, we will use uh, content analysis. But for this presentation, we will just use uh, case studies to have a look uh, for participants in our interview. And two parts of the interview, uh, demographic information and also core questions that were uh, created following our aim. So related to stigma and also coping strategies. 
Okay, uh, 10 minutes left. Uh, we are going to, to see the results. So we have so far four students. They are originally from Penang, two are from Selangor, and one from Sabah, Sabah is, uh, is Malaysia. But two of them now, uh, sorry, three of them are now studying in West Malaysia, and only one female. Okay, participant one, uh, he is in Penang, so he mentioned about unequal opportunity. So he observed that at least 70% of uh, his peers in the university or in the class are Malay students, and the rest are Chinese, 15 to 20%, and 10% Indians, and the rest very small numbers of indigenous students. And he mentioned that it's not by merit, but by ethnicity, the quota. And because the quota system, uh, he must compete not only with uh, the majority, ethnic majority student, but also with uh, other Indian students to get enter the university, the public university. And because this double competition, people perceive uh, ethnic majority ethnic majority students as super, super smart because uh, it's very hard to get in for them to the university. And also it's kind of a high expectation for them uh, when they enter the university. And he experienced a different treatment from the lecturer, for example, uh, open-ended questions, uh, exam or assignment. He couldn't get uh, maximum or high marks, but, how, no matter how good his answer is, compare with uh, ethnic majority students, even though their answer were same, but he couldn't get like a high uh, points for his answers. So what he did to cope with this experience, uh, he mentioned about helping each other, especially within the, the same uh, ethnic minority students, for example, Indian among Indian students, uh, among Chinese students, uh, he observed that, that in other ethnic minority students. And also he mentioned uh, mentoring or body system as there was no kind of support uh, from the university. So for example, new Indian students uh, will be mentored or have a body from uh, Indian senior students. So how to adapt, uh, adapt a university life, adjust to university life, and then maybe they will pass their notes or maybe exam uh, from the past or yeah, past year. So this junior could learn from, uh, from their seniors uh, notes. And also he also mingled with other uh, ethnic majority students and also the majority because he went to public school, uh, heights, high school, public school. So he has no problem to mingle with other uh, minority or majority students. And also in the beginning, he was angry and sad about the condition, the reality of this discrimination. But then he shifted his focus uh, on what uh, he can do to change uh, this situation to get better. So including the building the bridge with other uh, majority and also other ethnic minority students. So move to participant two. She also uh, experienced a different treatment from the lecturer. She had like a competency test score, no matter how good she was, she couldn't get a maximum points compared with uh, majority, ethnic majority students. And also, um, she felt that university doesn't take it seriously, the discrimination or this different treatment. And also she mentioned about quota system, but uh, she, in her case, uh, scholarship. So she applied for a scholarship. Uh, she progressed to interview stage, but she didn't, uh, she didn't get the scholarship. So she believed it, it because the quota system. And why? Did she progress to interview stage? Uh, probably it, it's for like a lip service. So the institution could be seen as um, a good institution because uh, all students could apply for this scholarship. 
uh, even progress to interview stage. But to get the scholarship itself, it's a different story because still uh, the, the quota system is still applied there. And uh, he, she didn't find any uh, discrimination from health professional and mentors in the hospital, but she observed the administrative a member or technician were giving different attitude toward uh, ethnic minority students. And some patients also, they, they want to be met or treated only by the same uh, ethnic groups, uh, the doctors or nurses um, from the same ethnicity group. And she didn't, she didn't cool too much because yeah, she felt like university uh, doesn't give a kind of support to, 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 to complain or report this uh, discrimination. And also uh, the evaluation system for the course is not anonymous. So she afraid to give an honest feedback or complain. Four minutes left, uh, go to participant three. Uh, as Indian student, he perceived himself actually as a Malay, a proud Malaysian, but uh, she, he was told as a minority, as Indian. So it was kind of a conflicting identity for him uh, because he doesn't really want to emphasize uh, actually his um, minority Indian student. Uh, but again, work hard is not always true for the minority to get what they want and what they deserve actually because the quota system in the university uh, setting. And same like the first participant, they, he perceived there is a labeling or stereotyping uh, very smart student. And also uh, he experienced, it's, it's not him by self, himself, but he, he saw his friend in the social media, there is a discriminative comment. And also when he did like a sport, there's a subtle racist joke about the col skin color. And also because he is studying in Sarawak, uh, his Bahasa Melayu, uh, Melayu language is not very similar with uh, Bahasa Melayu uh, in, on the peninsula, but he felt like uh, people in Sarawak doesn't really, uh, don't really uh, bother with this. So they just accept uh, this difference Bahasa Melayu. And same with participant two, he didn't uh, do much because he perceived couldn't, yeah, couldn't do much. Uh, so he just tried to mingle with uh, students from other ethnic groups. Also same with the participant, uh, first participant, he went to public school, so he has no problem to mingle with other uh, ethnicity groups. Uh, and he, he doesn't want to believe easily about stereotype uh, towards other ethnic groups. So participant four, uh, he is a Sabahan, so, so from East Malaysia, studying in Johor or in West Malaysia. So uh, as mentioned uh, by participant three, they have like a different accent, uh, but different uh, experience. When this Sabahan student uh, is studying in West Malaysia, his accent is perceived as kampung people or village people. So it's like a degrading uh, uh, perception. So he, he preferred to speak English. Uh, so people will not notice his uh, Bahasa Melayu accent from uh, Sabah uh, because people will giggle or uh, un necessarily be excited when he speaks in Bahasa Melayu. And also uh, he felt like it's a non-direct discrimination, uh, but in making group during assignment, mostly the majority will just uh, make groups among them. And other ethnic groups will mingle or create groups with other ethnic city groups. And there are no stigma or discrimination uh, from the lecturers, but same uh, with participant three, he felt like uh, some admin staff uh, might not as friendly as when they facing uh, majority 
group students because uh, when he speaks Bahasa Melayu, um, it's different, so they might not understand. So when he speaks English, the stuff English might not be good, and he also difficult to understand them. So it's a language matter. So what he did to cope with this is uh, he just been proud and pride to be a Sabahan. Um, and yeah, just try to show the best version of Sabahan people. So uh, to conclude, some experience related to stigma is labeling or stereotyping for towards these ethnic minority groups that they are super smart and also uh, it becomes it could lead to internal stigma. They have this burden to to show the very best of them. Uh, they cannot show a failure or a, a weak weak version of them. And also the quota system is uh, unfair and force the minority students uh, to do double competition. And minority students who fail to enter public university because this quota system, then they, uh, they yes, they could choose to go to a private university, but then they have to pay more. Some of them even uh, have to, 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 to rent money or have a loan to finance to to finance uh, private university application and also the uh, tuition fees and also application could uh, progress for the scholarship but probably it's only for lip service and good image for the institution and also uh, comparing with uh, so learn from the participant for experience in urban areas uh, because he is in smaller area like in Johor, uh, probably discrimination is less uh, or less likely to be happen compared with uh, in Kuala Lumpur, like uh, experienced by participant two. And the coping strategies were by, ex by these participants were like relying on the internal community support. So they create their own support system. And some of them also feel like they cannot do much because like this is the system and they cannot change the system. And my reflection on this study is, uh, so, so far no Chinese students express their interest yet might because the, they don't perceive themselves as a minority because the, the percentage quite big, like 20 to 35%. And also it's hard to find indigenous uh, university students because their numbers uh, or representation in university level is very small. And lastly, I would like to acknowledge that this study is supported by Southeast Asia Indigenous Psychology uh, Seed Grant Award, um, Jeffrey Church School of Medicine and Health Sciences, uh, ECR Grant Award, and the International Association for Cross-Cultural Psychology through Sparks Grant, and also a collaboration with other colleagues from the Philippines and Indonesia. Thank you very much and uh, more than welcome if you have any questions or uh, feedback. Thank you.